After much controversy all offseason long, Jersey Flood are now gearing up for their second season in the American Arena League. They will be under new head coach Nick Apola after their former head coach Adam Turkle stepped down on March 3rd and announced that the team would not be playing the 2019 season. That turned out not to be true, and the team is now under new ownership as well as a new head coach and Mr. Coppola. Their first game is this Saturday, April 13th, against the four-time defending champion Reading Raptors up in Reading, Pennsylvania. Their home opener, as opposed to their March 23rd scheduled home opener, will now be on May 11th when they host the Pittsburgh Defenders. NFL Game of the Week, here we go. We're underway from Trenton, New Jersey. Bearcats will return. Number four, Dyshaw Day will return. Pitch out to number 22, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, cuts across midfield. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Jersey to start the game. The Jersey Bearcats have defeated the Steel City Stampede in a battle of top two teams in the MIFL 19-18. They overcame an 18-6 halftime deficit to win the game. Justin Pittman had three interceptions, even though one was called back, and the defense forced the fumble on the last play of the game to clear the victory. Third and ten. Two incompletions by Tanner White. Receiver in motion. White. Blitz coming. Throws. Intercepted. It's picked off. That is Justin Pittman. What else is new with this guy? Number 21, Justin Pittman has been doing this all season long. That's yet another interception. He didn't have one last week. He had two, two weeks ago against the Steel City Stampede. So that's his third in the last three games. He had three interceptions. One was called back. One was followed by another turnover by the offense. What was going through your head when you made those three picks? Just, um, we had it, man. We had it. Uh, unfortunately, one of the calls, we ha had a penalty on a horse collar. I don't know how that happened. We're on defense. But uh, one counted. I forgot about the other one, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty tired out there, man. But we had a hell of a game. It all starts with uh, practice, bro. Practice, practice, practice. The New York Streets are 2-0 after their win tonight over the Orlando Predators, 70-31. Quarterback E.J. Nemeth scored seven total touchdowns in this game. He is now up to 15 on the season. Ron Jones had five of those touchdowns. And on defense, Denzel Tompkins had two interceptions, both of which went back for touchdowns. 14. Pups. Deep. Has a man. Touchdown! What a pass! 87 has his second of the game! Your second game with the Bearcats, he had two touchdowns. How are you able to be so impressive in this game? Well, I was going off by how the defense was playing me. Uh, the guys were playing me very, very tight, so I had to just elude them and try to make a play. First down, Bearcats at the flight 15. Needle motion, Merritt's gonna throw to the end zone, caught! Touchdown, touchdown! Touchdown, Bearcats! And now the sound line comes, Coach Roke celebrating with his team. Charlie McNeil jumped up, made the catch. Dove for the end zone, and he gets past the goal line for the touchdown. And it is now 6-0, Bearcats. New York Streets lost their fourth straight game and five of their last six in tonight's 68-55 loss to the Columbus Lions. Defense was key in this game as the Streets were able to defend the Lions' deep pass while the Lions picked off four David Guru passes. At least three touchdowns all four games this year. How are you able to throw, spread the ball around? Uh, it's honestly the offensive line, man. I get a lot of protection back there. I got receivers making great plays and great coaching. And they're going to throw. Screen to 41. Breaks a tackle down the side. There he goes. 20-10. Five the end zone! Touchdown, Jersey! Are you kidding me? The Seminoles are fooled by this screen. Number 41 takes it all the way. You and EJ connected all night on the field. What's your relationship like with him off the field? Um, me and EJ, we've been playing a while. We've been playing together for a while now. You know, he came out of retirement, honestly, but we we played together. We've been playing on a championship team a couple years ago, so you know, now we're rekindling that old flame. You know how it goes. <laughs> That goes over his head. Mitchell's got it. Throws to the end zone. The pass is caught. Are you kidding me? Charlie McNeil for the point after. Two clutch catches in this game, but take me to that game-winning touchdown. Uh, coach gave John the play. I seen the opening. I'm, he he threw it to me, and I made sure I kept my eyes on the ball at all times. 
Pure emotion, agree. Pressure again. Pop's gonna chuck it down the field. Intercepted. Arkell Green with the pick. With the pressure coming on him. Agree just threw the ball up in the air. Arkell Green was there to get the ball. Beat the Seminoles three times this year. How are you able to do it tonight? Uh, you know, we just got to keep playing the same way that we've been playing. That's what we've been doing. Um, every week is a hard week. So, um, they've been playing hard every time we play them. Fumble ball is on the ground. Bearcats have the Dios. Just all the way to the Bearcats. Four touchdowns tonight. What was it like during practice that uh, you and Gregory were able to connect so well tonight? Um, you know, I trust him. You know, just like we trusted EJ the same way. We had a quarterback change. We got a... Uh, keep it going the same exact way and the offense was firing okay today. We had some mishaps um, But I think for the most part we kept it on track We just got to fine-tune a little a little bit of things here and there and I think we'll be all right three picks One went for a touchdown. How are you able to do it tonight? Uh, I just, my coaches put me in position. They call the right please and I just re react Before the MIFL wraps up their a season to play It's time to look forward to the 2020 season in which Commissioner Rio Prisco says he has been talking to teams since the beginning of the season there are now five teams in the league as the Eastern Shore Raids folded earlier this year, but he told me he wants to have up to 12 teams in the league for 2020, including teams in New York and even possibly one in Virginia. Tonight, the Virginia Bearcats and Steel City Stampede will compete for the Independence Bowl Night Championship, in which a new champion will be crowned. The Reading Raptors, who won the last four MIFL championships, left for the Mid-Atlantic Indoor Football League and won that championship earlier this month. Third down for the Bearcats. Merritt to the end zone. And a it's picked off. Flag is down, but it has been intercepted. Picked off in the end zone by number 10. What does it mean to you to be a champion? Oh, it means so much. It means so much. It means so much. Definitely the support with my family and, and, and I do it for my grandma Sarah. It's just, it's just it's awesome. It's awesome. I, we deserve this as, as, a, as a team. Throws, passes caught by Louvellas Jr. Who breaks away? Touchdown, Jersey Bearcats! Louvellas Jr. Bearcats strike first in Independence Bowl 9. And there it goes. Taken by the Stampede down the sideline. Ball is out! Fumble! It's a touchdown for the Bearcats! Are you kidding me? Came so close. How proud of you are this of you are of this team? I mean, we fought all season. We fought all season in games. You know, we had some blowouts, we had some struggles, and then we, we fought to get dubbed. You know, this time that that fighting us ran out. You know, we didn't we didn't have enough left. But it's alright. There's, there's always next. The thing about sports is always next time. Congratulations on a successful season.